So I think I picked up one of the most inexpensive engines on the internet. I picked up this 4.8 horse LCT snowblower engine for 49 bucks. So it has cast iron sleeve, a three quarter shaft, a bearing crank. So in the free mods video, the Predator 212 on this bike did 5.06, zero to 30 and 37.26 with a stock Predator. So I'm gonna take the LCT Storm Force engine and swap it out for the engine on the Coleman bike and we'll see how it stacks up against the 212 Predator. So unbox this thing. So I actually picked it up from the surplus center off of, um, from an eBay seller. And they got this thing boxed up pretty good. I mean, it's packaged nice. All right. So it looks like it's got a Predator style carb on it and it doesn't come with an air filter. So it doesn't look like the choke lever will come off like it would on a Predator carb when you run an aftermarket air filter. We gotta run the little clip. So let's see if a, see if a Predator carb will line up to this thing. Pull this thing off of here so I can throw an aftermarket air filter on here. All right, so it looks like a Predator carb will go right on here. Yep, comes with a couple keys for the kill switch. Kind of like a dirt bike or a quad where you can hook it to your, um, hook them to your wrist. You plug the key into the um, switch and then when the key falls out, the engine dies and then the oil then it's got your standard oil fill, fills like a Predator. Three quarter shaft. Mounting bolts look the same as a Predator. Then you got the oil dipstick, which you could take that off and just plug that. Throw this aftermarket filter adapter on here. Yeah, it's kind of cool. You don't need the hold down tab for the choke. With the, uh, with the filter adapter on here. Let's throw this pull handle on here. Got it all together. Before I throw this on the bike, I have this small tank. I'm gonna figure out how to bolt on here. Just make a little quick bracket for that side. And then on this side, I can just use this bracket and bolt it to the uh, bracket on the tank right there. And I think that should be good. So I made up a bracket to go from this mount on the tank to the one over here. And then I'm gonna weld a little bracket from there to the bolt, something like that. So I'm gonna weld that up right there and then bolt the tank up right there. And that'll support that side. So we got the fuel line on there. Got the fuel tank mounted. Another thing that would work out really good if your bike had a tank already mounted on the frame, then you wouldn't even have to mount a tank on the engine. Make it even easier. And I went ahead and used an oil plug off the, um, off the Briggs engine for the top here. So it doesn't have that dipstick sticking out right there. Let's see if she'll fit on the, on the bike. Pull this engine off of here and hook this throttle. So we got the engine off. Predator looks very similar to the um, to the snowblower engine, so it looks like the exhaust might even bolt up, which would be nice because you could use the Predator header pipe. Let's see if the chain guard fits on here, which I think it will. I think everything will fit. So the chain guard fits. So this time around, I'm gonna run the clutch outboard. I move the engine over just a little bit because I got my tank kind of setting high for the small frame. It'll definitely fit in a, um, a taller frame bike, like a doodle bug. So just to test it out, I'll just run the clutch outboard. So 
So this thing has this pump on the carburetor to, I guess, pump fuel up for the um, for the snowblower to get fuel to prime it. But I don't actually need it, so I'm just gonna pop it off here. So to get this throttle to work on here, I'm gonna use this throttle plate off a of Predator, or at least half a throttle plate off a of Predator. I think the entire Predator throttle plate will fit if this exhaust is removed and just use a Predator exhaust. I just ran a couple zip ties on here just to make a quick throttle. But anyway, there we go. Looks like it works out pretty good. If I was gonna keep this engine on here, I definitely would do more of a permanent throttle, but that'll work for right now. And then I guess I'll just keep this kill switch on here for right now. If I was gonna keep this engine on the bike, I would wire up this kill switch. But this'll work just to get it started. See if you can get this thing started, hopefully. And that's the kill switch. We did zero to 30 and 6.28. That's not too far off from the Predator. It's actually pretty good. Let me try that again. Zero to 30, $49 engine. hesitation there but still ran pretty good 6.23 I think with a little tuning you probably get this thing pretty close to the Predator now I'll go run this thing around and see if I can get a top speed So the $49 Stormforce engine was a little slower than the Predator from zero to 30, but it actually beat up on the Predator at top speed. So the Stormforce engine did 6.23 zero to 30 and 44.13 top speed, which was faster than all the times on the free mod Predator. Stock Predator did 37.26 top speed. And then after all the mods, it did 42.43. So with a little tuning, I think I can get this engine to be a little bit quicker if I rejet the carb, because it seemed to hesitate just a little bit from zero to 30, but it still ran really good. 
So definitely worth 49 bucks. I think I spent $86 total because I had to ship it. So now I'm wondering how to respond to some mods, maybe a carb or a header pipe. 